morning class that today we are working on unit 5 lesson 2 remembering and this is a pretty short lesson you can go ahead and put an X through stretch your thinking number 9 um, you can use any method you'd like to solve in numbers 1 through 3 and these are double digit by double digit multiplication problems we'll go ahead and complete number 1 together we have 68 and we're multiplying that by 21 1 times 8 is equal to 8 1 times 6 is equal to 6 we're going to go ahead and put down our placeholder and then multiply by 2. 2 times 8 is equal to 16. Put down your 6, carry your 1. 2 times 6 is equal to 12, plus 1 is equal to 13. And then we're going to go ahead and add. 8 plus nothing is equal to 8. 6 plus 6 is equal to 12. Put down your 2, carry your 1. 3 plus 1 is equal to 4, and 1 plus nothing is equal to 1. So your answer is going to be 1,428. You can go ahead and complete 2 and 3 on your own. In numbers 4 through 6, it says complete each division and check your answer. Okay, we're going to use multiplication to be checking our answers. Number 4, we have the number 1,267, and we are dividing that by 5. We know that 5 cannot go into 1 because it is larger. We know that 5 can go into 12 2 times. 5 times 2 is equal to 10. 2 minus 0 is equal to 2, and 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. We can do our quick check and make sure that 2 is less than 5, and it is, so you're good to go. Bring down your 6. 5 can go into 26 5 times, because 5 times 5 is equal to 25. Go ahead and subtract. 6 minus 5 is equal to 1, 2 minus 2 is equal to 0, and 1 is less than 5. So bring down your 7. And I know that 5 can go into 17 3 times, 5 times 3 or is equal to 15, and 7 minus 5 is equal to 2, and 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. So our answer is going to be 253, remainder 2. And now we need to multiply to check our answer. And what we need to do there is take our answer, 253, and we're going to multiply that times 5, and then we can add afterward we get it we add in our remainder which is 2 so 5 times 3 is equal to 15 put down your 5 carry your 1 5 times 5 is equal to 25 plus 1 is equal to 26 put down your 6 carry your 2 5 times 2 is equal to 10 plus 2 is equal to 12 and then I'm going to add in my remainder here 5 plus 2 is equal to 7 6 plus nothing is 6 2 plus nothing is 2 and 1 plus nothing is 1 and 1000 1,267 is the correct answer, and that was our dividend, our original dividend, 1,267. That's how you complete your check. Please show your work for numbers 5 and 6 the same way we did it here. Show your division and then show your multiplication for your check. Go ahead and look at, look at number 7. It says, Chloe sorts her beads. The number of red beads she has is five and five six times the number of green beads. She has 60 green beads. How many red beads does she have? I'm going to look at this and we have, we have 60 green beads and we need to figure out how many red beads we have and that's five, five and five six times as many so we have to do some multiplication. So we're going to take 60 and we're going to multiply it by five and five sixths. And remember, when we're multiplying a whole number by a mixed number, we have to take our mixed number, and we have to turn that into an improper fraction. 6 times 5 is equal to 30, plus 5 is equal to 35, and our denominator stays the same, so 35 over 6. And in order to write 60 as a fraction, it's 60 over 1. So now what we have is 60 over 1 times 35 over 6. And we can go ahead and cross reduce here because we can see a relationship between 60 and 6. 6 can go into 6 1 time and 6 can go into 60 10 times. So now we have 10 times 35 which is 350 and 1 times 1 which is 1. So our answer here is going to be 350 red beads. You can go ahead and complete eight on your own. Today's a pretty short lesson, so once you've finished your work, please take a picture, attach it to your assignment, upload it, and turn it in on Teams. Thank you.